please state name and outlet and then you can begin. Thank you. Sure. Hi guys, I'm Carrie and I'm from Diva Magazine. Um, Hi there. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Um, I have been binging the show for the past two days <laughs> and I absolutely love it. Um, what, first of all, what was it that attracted you both to the project and, and made you excited to be in a show like this? Definitely the challenge of it, you know, and it's, it's the fact that like uh, with all the characters that were casted, I've seen like my friends that I know personally in each and every one of them. So it definitely draw me to it. Like I was her like myself, but you know, there's still like that contrast where like I still had to understand her to an extent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say, um, you know, eight ensemble female leads, all super diverse in experience, background, upbringing. Um, interests and that is a, yeah just all those stories that are being told I thought that was so special and unique. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, diverse stories there and, and your characters are both um, you know your character is gay you know um, Jenna your character is Native American was it important to you to make sure that, that you got those representations right? Yeah of yeah, course. Absolutely. Did you do much in the way of sort of research or anything like that beforehand? I mean, I've read books, like, you know, just to um, get a better understanding of the uh, Ojibwe's because, um, you know, we are Native American, but like, I'm, you know, I'm not Ojibwe. And, you know, for me to get that right, and especially get like this, the dance that I do in my episode, right, it was very mm -hmm. important to me. And it really did draw me to her as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and similarly, I mean, I'm from New Zealand, and I'm, um, I'm not New Zealand, I'm Maori. Um, but my character obviously grew up on a reservation and so I have speaking with Jenna and um you know doing a bunch of research and also with um other directors and uh, and Kimberly as well um and Sydney uh gave me a really well-rounded uh, understanding because I mean coming from New Zealand it's one of the furthest places on earth I didn't know <laughs> a lot about um Native American culture so mm -hmm. yeah it was really lovely to be able to learn that from Jenna and a bunch of other people on set mm -hmm. Your characters are really great friends in the show. Um, did you know each other at all before this or did you get to know each other on set? Not at all, but like on set, yes, because, you know, we um, we live literally like the polar opposite of the world. So if it wasn't for this show, I don't think I would have ever met Edna at all. <laughs> <No. laughs> but yeah, no, you... it became, um, yeah, it became really good friends. We, we've known each other for two years now, you know, met back in 2018 on the pilot. Um, so you were built a lovely friendship together. Mm. So from such a long time ago that you started working on this to seeing it sort of come to fruition now, how does it feel that it's almost ready to be sent out into the world? I'm so ecstatic about it. Like, cause it's literally been like a two year coming. So, and, and for us to be work, working this hard for it and seeing so many teasers and little scenes here and there, it's just so, it's surreal that it's so close to coming out. Hmm. And it's been such a big part of our lives for such a long time that to be able to share <laughs> this with not only, you know, our friends and family who have heard about it, but really have no idea what's going on. Um, <laughs> and yeah, to be able to share this really, you know, a special thing we've been working on for two years is just amazing. Mm -hmm. The show deals with so many different issues and so many different um, sort of trials that, that young people might face and particularly um, around sexuality. What advice might either of you have for, for young people who are dealing with some of those issues, whether that's, you know, eating disorders or sexuality or, um, you know, any, any, any of the issues in the, in the show? Advice? I mean, I don't know how good this advice would be because I mean, I'm only just coming through the other side myself, you know, I'm 21. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Um, but I think one thing that helped me through when I was younger, we were just talking to my mom and she's like, everybody in the world has grown up and it feels like the most difficult thing in the world right now, figuring everything out, but you will. And, you know, everybody that you see before you that you admire has done it and you can do it as well. <laughs> hey, thank you. Um, I feel like for my character, advice would, um, you know, learning from her, I would say, you know, really, you know, try and be more understanding and, you know, keep a more of an open mind when you meet people because, you know, originally, you know, you might not like somebody, but like come to find out, you know, they're going through so much and they're going to, you know, go through things that you will never understand and you, you know, will never go through. So I feel like for me, it would be, you know, keep an open mind and, you know, be more accepting. 
That's brilliant. Uh, I will let you uh, speak to the many other people you got to speak to, but thank you so much. It was lovely to meet <laughs> you. Lovely talking you with so you. Much. Take care. See ya. Bye.